Imagine stepping into a world where the shadows stretch a little longer and the air holds a hint of mystery that tingles your senses. It's a cinematic journey that transcends time, a first encounter that leaves an indelible mark on your memory. In 1932, as black and white images flickered on the silver screen, Dr. X emerged, capturing hearts and minds with its enigmatic allure. Maybe it was the eerie atmosphere that enveloped you, or perhaps the spine-tingling excitement that gripped your very soul. Do you recall that heart-pounding moment when you first glimpsed the mad scientist's lair? Or the way your curiosity battled with trepidation as the story unfolded? Moments like these transcend mere movies, they become woven into the fabric of our own experiences. But let's delve deeper beyond the surface thrills, and explore the secrets that linger in the shadows of Dr. X unraveling the hidden facets, discovering the lesser-known tidbits that make this classic a treasure trove of trivia. From the actors who brought the characters to life to the groundbreaking techniques that paved the way for future filmmakers, the story behind the story is just as fascinating. So, as we step back into the past and shed light on the obscure corners of Dr. X, let your imagination roam free. Picture the bygone era, feel the anticipation building as the projector starts its gentle hum, and get ready to be immersed in a world that ignited the spark of cinematic wonder. It's time to unearth the random facts that enrich our understanding of this iconic movie. So let's begin the journey, a journey that takes us from the familiar to the obscure, guided by the flickering light of history. And now, without further ado, let's unveil the curtain on the hidden gems of Dr. X, rekindling the excitement and curiosity that has thrilled audiences for decades. So, fasten your seatbelt as we journey through time, exploring the uncharted territories of this cinematic masterpiece. Get ready for a revelation that will rekindle your passion for the silver screen and the stories it weaves. Released in 1932, Dr. X stands as a pioneering horror film, renowned for its contributions to the genre and its distinct style. Directed by Michael Curtis, the movie was one of the first to experiment with two-strip Technicolor, lending an eerie and surreal visual atmosphere to its narrative. Set in New York City, the story revolves around the enigmatic Dr. Xavier, portrayed by Lionel Atwell, who becomes embroiled in a series of gruesome murders. The film's darkly humorous undertones and gothic elements, including the laboratory setting and grotesque makeup, contributed to its unique style that left an indelible mark on horror cinema. The mystery of identifying the true killer coupled with suspenseful plot twists adds to the movie's allure. While Dr. X wasn't the first horror film, it undeniably impacted the trajectory of the genre, influencing subsequent movies and contributing to the rise of horror as a cinematic fascination. Its innovative use of color and atmospheric tension set a precedent for horror aesthetics. Dr. X remains a testament to the imagination of early horror filmmakers, capturing the essence of a pivotal era in cinema history. Jeff Martin, from the renowned band Racer X, paid homage to the 1932 film Dr. X through his song Dr. X, where lyrics cryptically echo, a scream from Faye, a ray of moon. This musical nod connects to the movie's captivating storyline, where Faye Ray's screams and eerie moonlit scenes played pivotal roles. Notably, the film's New York waterfront scenes took shape on the enduring set of Twinkledos, a relic from Colleen Moore's film. This repurposed backdrop transformed the setting into the Limehouse District of London. Amidst the cinematic sleight of hand, the production found a home for its tale. Meanwhile, the tranquil beach scene was authentically captured at Laguna Beach, adding a touch of reality to the macabre narrative. The juxtaposition of the serene location with the movie's suspenseful plotline highlights the creativity and dedication of the filmmakers. As we delve into the lesser-known details of Dr. X, these tidbits offer a glimpse into the ingenuity that brought this 1932 classic to life. Jeff Martin's musical tribute, the repurposed set, and the real-world beach setting all contribute to the mystique of a film that continues to captivate audiences to this day. Lost and found, the technicolor resurgence of Dr. X in the annals of cinema history. Few tales are as captivating as the resurrection of the 1932 horror classic. Dr. X directed by Michael Curtis, the film's legacy is anchored in a remarkable discovery that had cinephiles and historians alike on the edge of their seats. While Warner Bros. paid a modest $5,000 for the play's rights, it was the technicolor version's fate that would astonish the world. Curtis, known for his flair in storytelling, once proclaimed, this will make your blood curl. 
As he embarked on the chilling journey of Dr. X, little did he know that decades later, it wouldn't just be audience's blood that would be stirred. After its original release, the Technicolor print vanished, leaving a monochrome version in its place. Warner Brothers, despite its legendary stature, found itself bereft of a critical piece of its history. Years turned into decades, and it was assumed that the original Technicolor rendition of Dr. X had vanished into the shadows forever. However, fate had a different plan. In a twist as dramatic as any Hollywood plotline, the Technicolor version was rediscovered in the private collection of none other than the studio's head honcho, Jack L. Warner. This cinematic relic, lost in the folds of time, was given a new lease on life. The film was entrusted to the capable hands of the UCLA archives, where a meticulous restoration process began. Frame by frame, the vibrant hues of the 1932 masterpiece were meticulously brought back to life, honoring the artistry that had once captured audiences' imaginations. This monumental effort not only revived Dr. X, but also showcased the enduring power of film preservation and the dedication of those who ensure that history remains vivid and unblemished. In the realm of motion pictures, stories of lost and found hold a unique allure. The resurgence of Dr. X reminds us that even in the face of apparent oblivion, the cinematic treasures of yesteryears can emerge from the shadows with a brilliance that defies time itself. In the end, Dr. X stands as a testament to the resilience of film, a reminder that stories thought to be forever consigned to history's vaults can re-emerge to captivate new generations. So let the reels roll on, for the past continues to cast its spell on the present, enriching our understanding of the artistry that has shaped our collective imagination. And there you have it, a tale of a technicolor phoenix, rising from the ashes of obscurity, to once again grace the silver screen with its chilling brilliance. Lionel Atwell's debut triumph in Dr. X in 1932, the silver screen witnessed a monumental shift as the illustrious Lionel Atwell took his first decisive steps onto its grand stage. A movie that marked this remarkable debut was none other than Dr. X, a macabre tale that lured audiences into its gripping narrative. However, beneath the surface of this cinematic thriller lay a chilling connection to the real world. The film's antagonist, known as the Moon Killer, was a moniker that evoked the sinister aura of a series of cannibalistic murders. It's no secret that these illusions bore a striking resemblance to the harrowing crimes of Albert Fish, infamously known as the Moon Maniac. His heinous spree of cannibalism spanned from 1924 to 1932, persisting even as Dr. X made its debut. The eerie parallel between fiction and reality added an unsettling layer of intrigue to the film, leaving audiences both captivated and perturbed. The convergence of art and actuality, however, is only one facet of Dr. X beyond its cinematic prowess. The movie has deeper roots. Its origins trace back to a Broadway play of the same title, which graced the Hudson Theater in New York City on February 9, 1931. With 80 gripping performances, the play laid the groundwork for the cinematic spectacle that would follow. The film, directed by Michael Curtis, masterfully captured the essence of its stage predecessor, while adapting its intricacies to the silver screen. In Dr. X, Lionel Atwell's presence exuded a charisma that would go on to define his prolific career. With this film, he announced his arrival in the world of cinema, a debut that would pave the way for his future successes. As the moon cast its eerie glow, both on screen and off, Dr. X managed to intertwine reality, theater, and film into a tapestry of suspense that continues to fascinate to this day. Dr. X, unveiling the dual cinematic visions in the annals of cinematic history, Dr. X remains an enigmatic gem from 1932. While the film's macabre tale and groundbreaking use of Technicolor have long fascinated audiences, lesser known is the intriguing duality that unfolded behind the camera. Contrary to Technicolor's directive, Warner Brothers defied convention and shot a black and white version of the film in parallel. Cinematographers Ray Renahan and Richard Towers led this contrasting charge, weaving two distinctive visual narratives. The Technicolor iteration took precedence, its camera angles meticulously designed to seize the best compositions. Notable instances include Lee Tracy and Mee Bush's encounter within a house of prostitution, as well as Tracy's eerie escapade in the skeleton room. One pivotal scene, in particular, exudes unexpected artistry. Amidst whimsical banter, the main character jestingly addresses the cat house piano player as Ratchmaninoff. 
The reply echoes with brilliance as the piano maestro flawlessly conjures Rachmaninoff's iconic prelude in C-sharp minor opus. Three no. Two. In subsequent screenings, Dr. X largely embraced the monochrome, reserving Technicolor's resplendence for a few select moments. While Technicolor was the star, the covert dance between black and white frames and vibrant hues continues to captivate film aficionados, offering a dual glimpse into a film's intricate evolution. Dr. X stands as a testament to the intricate layers that underpin cinematic creation. The harmonious interplay of black and white and technicolor narratives, coupled with musical jests turned masterful renditions, elevates the film beyond its macabre themes. As the reels roll on, the legacy of Dr. X reminds us that even in a world of light and shadow, innovation thrives. As the silver screen curtains draw to a close on the enigmatic tale of Dr. X, we find ourselves not just spectators, but fellow explorers of the human psyche and the mysteries it holds. This 1932 cinematic masterpiece has woven its threads into the fabric of our imaginations, unraveling the complexities of science, identity, and the shadows that reside within us all. But beyond the celluloid frames, this isn't just a story, it's a reflection. A reflection of the light and darkness coexisting within us, much like the characters in this unforgettable narrative. The flickering scenes of the laboratory, the eerie streets, and the chilling revelations invite us to ponder the boundaries of morality, the pursuit of knowledge, and the essence of humanity itself. Dr. X isn't just a movie, it's a mirror that allows us to glimpse into our own depths. As the characters grapple with the dichotomy of their natures, we too are prompted to consider our own dualities, the parts of us that we embrace, and those we keep hidden in the recesses of our minds. So, whether you're a seasoned admirer of the macabre or a fresh explorer of the vintage silver screen, take a moment to reflect on your own connection with Dr. X. What emotions did it stir? What questions did it provoke? Share your thoughts, memories, and interpretations with fellow travelers who've embarked on this cinematic journey. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the enigmatic and the extraordinary. Your time and curiosity are deeply appreciated, and we eagerly await your reflections on the timeless tale of Dr. X until then. May your own mysteries be illuminated by the flicker of inspiration from the silver screen.